Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, as most of you are probably already aware, I'm Casey, it's my wife Kim. We wanted to just do a quick video review uh, of Vogel State Park in Georgia, where we went to a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you see our last video, you saw a bunch of uh, footage that we'll share some in here too, and pictures of uh, the things that we did there, a lot of things that we really enjoyed. Uh, there really wasn't a lot that we didn't enjoy, but just kind of give an overall review um, of the campgrounds in general, um, the things that they had, all, all that. So uh, to start off with and talk about the park a little bit, give a little bit of information about it. Uh, Vogel, State's, Vogel State Park is located in Blairsville, Georgia. Uh, it's the second oldest state park uh, in Georgia. It was established in 1931. Uh, it's 233 acres. There's a 22 acre lake right in the middle of it. Um, it's got 34 cottages and cabins. Uh, 90 tent and RV sites, 18 walk-in campsites, and multiple pavilions that you can rent uh, just for the day as well. Um, it's got Wi-Fi visitor center if you need it, and in the cabins, a general store, like I said, a lake where you can rent uh, canoes, kayaks, uh, well, no canoes, just kayaks, um, paddle boards, uh, pedal boats, those sort of things. You can rent them by the hour. Uh, it's also got about 17 miles of trails, uh, fishing at the lake, uh, there's a swimming area at the lake, um, it's got two playgrounds, mini golf on site, so it's got a ton of stuff uh, to do. We ended up renting uh, cabin 34 while we were there. Uh, but we, in my last video you saw, we ended up renting a cabin. Uh, we didn't take the pop-up only because we made these reservations before we bought the pop-up, but I'm sure that we'll be back with the pop-up as well. Um, cabin 34 that we rented was right across from the lake, so the views were uh, amazing, and we'll share some of those pictures and footage on here. Like I said, uh, cabin 35 was right on the water, so that one would be a nice That's one. That's the only one on the water. That's the only one that was directly on the water. All of them were really close. Um, a lot of things uh, that we liked about the cabin is just in general, the cabin was really nice. Uh, it was really well kept up. It was nicer than I anticipated it being. Um, had TVs, which we didn't really care about, but we ended up using them a little bit for the kids at night when they were winding down and things like that. It was an open layout, so yeah. even though it was one bedroom, it was great for our family of five kids because we could set everybody up in the family room, but they still had more room to move about and do what we needed to do through the day. Yeah. So. Yeah. And also had a, um, a fully stocked kitchen, I guess you could say, uh, obviously no food, but they had everything you could need to cook and clean, mm -hmm. um, had an average size refrigerator, so there's plenty of space to put our food and, and, mm -hmm. and drinks and stuff that we brought. It did only have two lower cabinets to store your pantry goods, yeah. so like one of our cabinets was just like snacks and stuff I knew the kids would get to every day. The other cabinet, I just put all of my recipes for dinner and um, some lunch stuff that I knew the kids wouldn't grab or get to, and that way it was just separated and easier for me. But, um, so if you bring a lot of pantry food, you might not have tons of space to store it. Yeah. Um, but it had, like I said, everything you need. It had a coffee pot and actually provided a couple days worth of coffee, uh, coffee filters, things like that. Uh, toaster oven and, um, microwave, all the normal stuff that you would need to uh, cook stuff. So if you're not, uh, looking for the traditional camping where you got to bring your camping stove and all that stuff. This has everything you need, pots, pans, all of that stuff. Plus they had a grill outside. You yes. can use if you Charcoal want a grill. grill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fire pit area, which will show you um, an outside table. Um, the only dislikes about this one, there was a road that went right behind the cabin. That it had, was more like on a hill. So it yeah. wasn't like directly behind the cabin. It was kind of like kinda a up hill, the hill. And yeah. road. Yeah. And uh, there wasn't a lot of traffic on there, uh, but occasional traffic. We were inside the cabin, I never heard them, but outside the cabin they were, it wasn't right on top of us, but it was fairly close by, so it's just something to consider. Um, the only loud things were the motorcycles that would go through, but yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, motorcycles riding the mountain roads. Them. Yeah, it was every now and then. Um, the, the only other thing about this cabin, there wasn't a ton of outside space for the kids, so if you have a lot of kids um, and you want a bunch of space for them to run around, there wasn't a ton of space there, but it was close to everything. It was, like I said, it was, Right across from the lake, um, right along the lake, there's a, a walking path that we'll talk about in a little bit. They had tons of, they have swings by the lake. So once yeah. you go out of the cabin and cross the little hiking trail thing in the morning, you know, that's where we would go and sit and enjoy the morning and the kids could run around right there. So it wasn't directly like 
by the cabin. It was a, maybe half a mile. Not even. Yeah, not even. That's not yeah. even that. Yeah. Away. Yeah. 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 The swimming area, like so, that was close by. Um, kind of go past the swimming area is where they had the boat rentals for the lake, um, some other docks that you could walk out on, uh, picnic areas. Past that was the uh, the camping store, which we'll talk about, and where you check in at. Um, and then there's also a little past that was the uh, mini golf. the mini golf and then the playgrounds. So yeah, um, and there's more cabins that way too. Yeah, yeah. And there's cabins the that lake. are yeah. And there's also like uh, yeah. There's some cabins that are not right on the lake, but they're closer to the mini golf uh, and the store and the playgrounds as well. They're actually like there's some cabins that are right across the street from the mini golf and playgrounds. So um, there's some that are. Uh, really close to other stuff, but everything I would say is in easy walking distance. If you're in a cabin. Yeah, if you're in a cabin. Now the campsites, uh, or I if guess, you're in one of the beginning camp campsites, like yeah. one through twenty. Maybe. Yeah, are close by. But then some of the other campsites in the higher numbers uh, are a little further up the mountain, so they're a little further away. But even that, the drive is five minutes maybe, and you can get to everything. So everything's pretty close together. Um, so. With that being said, we'll talk about some of the campsites. While we were there camping, my mom and dad were there camping as well. We have an annual uh, family camp that we go on with them. Um, so this year's Vogel's where we went. Uh, mom and dad were in site 85, so they were actually on the, I guess the highest number campsite. That was the last campsite. Yeah, it was the last campsite that they have. So, um, but their campsite, as you can see in some of the pictures and video, had a ton of space for the kids. Um, it, was, it was wooded, but there was still space for the kids to run around. Um, obviously some of the ground bit on it even because you're literally in the mountains but um, there's a ton of space for them to run they had um, a great time they actually played with the kids that were camping uh, right next to them multiple times as well mm -hmm. and so there we had multiple kids running around and uh, they had uh, plenty of plenty of space um, and it was you know beautiful they had a lot of huge tall trees that you could see there lots of shade so lots of shade hot. yep yep so um, it got up into uh, 70s, higher 70s while we were there, um, which is obviously very comfortable, but tons of shade, so nothing to worry about there. Um, some of the sites uh, that are uh, the lower number sites, like sites 2 through 61, are actually the sites themselves uh, were able for bigger RV units. They say they're 40-foot uh, sites, and sites 62 through 85 say that they're really meant for tents and pop-ups because they're only 25 foot sites. Now, um, my mom and dad have a 21 foot uh, camper and they, like I said, they obviously were on the higher number sites and they were able to get in there uh, without any major issues. Um, so even though it says that the higher numbers are for tents and pop-ups only because it's a smaller road to get further up the mountain, um, if you have a smaller uh, camper, you should should be fine on those as well. Um, so the the smaller uh, mountain road that you have to take to get up to the higher number campsites, um, 62 through 85 sites, they were, uh, if you go, like she was saying, if you go up the road, some to the right, um, were kind of on the downslope of the mountain. So you could see uh, they had like a, a lot of kind of overhangs on the campsites. The ones on the left-hand side, uh, like 85 mom and dad were the back of the campsites actually kind of went up the mountain so they seem to have a little bit more room yeah. uh, like like she said a lot of the campsites they actually had uh, uh, boarded off in certain areas where they had flattened out areas so you could have um, if you were there tent camping like you could, we could go in our in our pop-up or with someone's RV and then someone else could tent camp there with us too and I think they allow one RV and uh, one tent um, per site. So it would have multiple spaces. So it's not like you'd have to cram all in right next to the RV. They had multiple yeah. spots or um, like with us, like in the videos and pictures you see, uh, our kids just use those spots to play around, to run around in. Um, they had uh, the sites themselves were really well taken care of. The whole facility was really well taken care of, but yeah. campsites were well taken care of. Um, uh, they didn't have trash or anything sitting around them, nothing like that. Each site had a, um, a you know, a table out there and uh, uh, our Fire pit. our, ta our uh, table was large I mean it, was, it fit all of us hang your trash. Uh, well no poles are I think more, more or less they're originally there to hang uh, um, lanterns and stuff like that but metal pole that's in the ground um, so plenty of that kind of stuff like I said the fire, like I said, the fire pit was there it was nice um, 
mm -hmm. kind of had like a gravel, like where you did park and where you did, um, uh, where you could camp on, on the level platforms and had uh, kind of like a gravel area. Uh, so it was nice. And like I said, the bunch of trees, but, but at the same time it was open enough to run around in. Yeah. Some of the campsites are, are on the creek. So yes, like right on the creek. Like a lot of the 30, I think like the 31 through 35, I want to say it was Maybe, like yeah. right there on the creek, but 34 would be the best one to get on the creek. Um, cause it's like right at the end of that cul-de-sac, but, yeah. um, also 63 was on the creek. Yep. Um, yep. And that one was had more. a lot of open areas. 63 was yeah. a really nice one. Really good one. We would, uh, probably want to go when we go back. Yeah. I had and a lot of open areas for the kids. 85, the one that has on dad stayed in wasn't on the creek, but it was like right across from the creek. So they could easily just walk. Yeah across the road and go to it so yeah. um besides 85 I've had those woods where the creek went into so yeah. that was nice too yeah yeah it was very nice like so there's creeks uh that kind of run through the whole area so mm -hmm. kind of no matter where you're at if you're not right at one you're within a very short walking distance yeah. to kind of go hang out at the creek and uh nice crystal clear cold water the kids loved um, getting in there and playing around, walking through big rocks to climb on, all kinds of stuff. You do have to watch for snakes though. Yes, watch for snakes as you can see probably in the last video that our oldest daughter Kelsey actually stepped on one and realized that thankfully wasn't bit, uh, freaked her out, but there was, uh, there was a few like snakes. three snakes? Yeah, three, yeah, yeah, two or three some snakes. Some of the creeks, some yeah. of the water. Yeah, yeah. So uh, also in the camping area, there's multiple bathroom sites. Um, not every bathroom site had laundry rooms on it, but a lot of them did that were really nice. Obviously, you got to bring your own quarters and all that to run the- It's a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty, uh, yeah. and uh, to run the, the washer and dryer. But um, those were there, they were really nice. Um, the bathrooms, like I said, there's bathrooms there, easy walking distance in any campsite that you're in. Had, they had a ton of um, host campsites. Oh, yeah. So there's a bunch of hosts there. Um, we didn't have to speak to any of them or talk to them about it. We didn't really have any issues while we were there. And, especially since we were down the cabin, mom and dad were up there at the uh, campsites this time, but uh, there was a ton of host campsites there. And, uh, from what I read and saw before we were looking into the campsite, that there was, uh, they were always really helpful um, if you need anything or had any problems, anything like that. Um, so that's something to think about too. That, like I said, we're really excited to go back with the pop-up and camp there. Um, even us pulling the, the pop-up with our van there's a couple of little steeper roads getting up to the campsites, but nothing I don't think that our van wouldn't be able to handle. Yeah. Um, so it should it should be fine for that. Like I said, if you're in a big RV or some of the big ones, there was some big ones there, you just have to stay in one of the um, yeah. the lower number sites because they got the, uh, say, the bigger the parking areas bigger for the Bigger camper, the campsites um, towards the back, like in the 50s and the 40s, they were more, um, not as close together with more space. The yeah. ones closer up, uh, like one through 20, um, those had not as much as, they had trees, but they weren't um, as secluded. Um, you really didn't have a lot of privacy, but I guess that's yeah. really much your preference on what you look for. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, so onto that, some of the stuff we talked about before, the amenities and things to do that are all right there on site. Um, the first thing I'm talking about is the, the general store that they had which was really nice. Uh, they, it wasn't huge, but it was nice. And the staff was really nice. Uh, they had a bunch of, a wide uh, variety of souvenirs. You can see Kim's shirt and my hat that I got there. Uh, stuff was priced reasonably. It wasn't, um, wasn't kind of ridiculous. So we kind of thought things would be priced and marked up, but it wasn't. Um, and stuff was really nice quality shirts and hats and stuff. Really nice. They had jackets and all kind of stuff. Yeah, they had uh, toys for the kids. Yeah. Um, from small little bugs that you could buy to huge stuffed animals. Yeah. Um, they had medicine. Yeah. Uh, they had some things that you might run out of or that you might forget. They had milk and hot dogs and eggs and a little refrigerated section of small things. Bacon was in there. Okay, I remember um, that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like so they, like she said, they kind of had some emergency camping supplies and stuff too. Uh, rope and matches and all kind of different stuff that you may just, it, uh, imperative things that maybe you forgot or ran out of. You didn't have to actually leave to go get it unless you just wanted to go somewhere. Maybe you could find it a little cheaper, which there was things fairly close by, but 
the store being right there and their prices being reasonable it wasn't bad uh, like she said they had food and snacks i think they actually had like ice cream and stuff that you could get yeah. um they had maps uh, there's actually a, a map that they sell there back road um, map yeah back road map that some of the local people in that area have uh, put together put together and made up showed a bunch of the back roads that you can use that have more scenic views along with all the parks in the area and everything for the whole like north georgia uh, tennessee north carolina area up there so it was really cool um also just like pretty much everywhere else they have ice they have firewood and everything that you can buy right there um so that was nice to have that yeah. close by in case you needed I it you remember how much firewood was I don't remember. We never bought any because yeah. his dad cut yeah. up a whole tree yeah, my and dad brought had it with us. a whole ton of firewood that he brought with him. So, um, and we didn't actually do, this time we didn't do any fires at our cabin, just because pretty much every evening we went to mom and dad's side, hang out with them. They did a fire. We did most of our uh, cooking and hanging out stuff there. So, um, but they have firewood and ice and stuff there. If, if um, um, Also, both the playgrounds that we talked about, um, just like we said, everything is very well kept. The playgrounds are really nice. One of the playgrounds was a little smaller, um, had just like some picnic areas and a slide and like a little climbing wall. Yeah. But it was right beside, which you'll be able to see, right beside a big creek. It had a couple little mini waterfalls and stuff in it, but there's shallow enough they could walk through and play and in. The dog park was right there by it. Yeah, yeah, and nice, another open field uh, where you could walk your dog, do other stuff. So there's plenty of room to run around in. Uh, the other player and that first playground was right at the base of the where the campsites are yeah so if you're in one of the lower number campsites it's super easy to walk to mm -hmm. um, the other playgrounds a little bit bigger um, also very nice uh, it had uh, multiple play areas and um, climbing wall and swings mm -hmm. and then also literally right next to it they had some of the uh, um, workout. workout equipment stuff so you use your own body weight to work out it's literally right next to this playground um which is a really they had multiple pieces of equipment there that you could use um big area they also had some um um what are the boards called you throw the throw the bean bags remember they had this the oh, cornhole. they had cornhole they had permanent cornhole boards there which was really cool um that they they were just built in right there and you just bring i don't know if you can rent beanbags i haven't seen anything but you could bring your own play cornhole there if you wanted to all right in that same area that playground um also right next to this playground is where the mini golf was yeah well it's like the mini golf and then the playground yeah. but there's cabins that surround it yep so i don't know what numbers those were but I can't remember the numbers. depending on what and one of some of those cabins were on the creek and then it had the playground and the mini golf so depending on what kind of privacy you want, that's kind of a lot of people, especially people going there to the playground and mini golf right there by your cabin. So, yeah. but then again, if you have kids, it's pretty convenient and it's on the creek, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's stuff that you want to go to. I mean, if you were in one of those cabins, you could literally sit at your cabin, your kids could go play at the playground and you'd be able to watch them from the cabin. So that would be nice, yeah. but obviously there'd be other people coming and going as well. So it's just something to consider. Um, the mini golf, like I said, the mini golf was right there. I believe from what I heard, it was like $5 a person. So super reasonable. Um, and that's open now. I think it was closed because of COVID, but now it's open. Um, very nice, very well kept up. We didn't try it this time just because uh, we didn't really have the time. We did a lot of other stuff, um, but I was there. It was very nice, um, very well kept up. The lake, obviously, like, it's, like we talked about before, is right there. It's open to any non-motorized boats, I think through pretty much all of summer. It may be a little longer, I don't know if they had exact dates, um, but any non-motorized boats you could, like we said before, you could rent uh, kayaks, uh, pedal boats, they have pedal boats there, and paddle yeah. boards. Yeah. Uh, so you could rent any of those. Um, I heard they're around $20 an hour. We didn't actually check on the prices there. I also heard that was for the pedal boats, which are probably the most expensive thing to rent. Uh, but you can rent, go up to the store, pay for them, and then you just walk across there to the lake and uh, they have a dock there where you can rent them and go out on the lake. The lake is 22 acres, so it's huge. Um, it's really, really huge. It's all right there as a part of the campgrounds though, so you can kind of get to it from multiple spots if you bring um, your own kayaks. Uh, like mom and dad brought their own kayak and, and paddleboard and went out in it. Um, they didn't launch off the dock, they just launched off right across from our, where our cabin was where you can walk right down to the water and it was no problem at all. Um, so like she said before, there's, um, uh, benches and swings around the entire lake. 
So there's uh, the path that you could walk around the lake and there's benches and swings all over the place. We took some really awesome pictures and videos that you could see in our last video. I may post some of those on here as well. Um, it was just beautiful, especially first thing in the morning with the sun coming up over the lake, it was awesome. Um, we not huge fishing people, so we didn't bring any stuff, but they have obviously tons of fishing there in the lake. Um, we saw people fishing all the time there. And uh, like I said, the trail around the lake was uh, really cool. It wasn't difficult at all. No. The trail that went all the way around the lake, if you go all the way around the lake, it was a loop of about a mile. Yeah. Um, so even us with all the kids and two-year-old or Bo, our two-year-old, um, he was even able to walk it, you know, with us, with us helping him uh, without any paved. problem. And yeah, some of it's a paved area. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's really wide, so yeah, it's yeah. not like some of the Florida trails that we've been on, like at Goldhead, it's really narrow, kind of like one person after another person in the line, but this one's really wide and really easy and it's not sandy, so yeah. you get your yeah. feet don't sink down and you're not sweating like yeah. here in Florida. Yeah, but. yeah, it was really nice. The, that was really nice. We Like she said, we've done some other ones, uh, especially with a two-year-old that ended up being longer and a little bit more difficult than, uh, than he was really able to do. So we had to carry him and it just wasn't a great experience. So this one was, this one was much better, super nice. Um, like you said, the views of the water as you walk around are awesome. Also a part of that, which we'll show is the, um, just off that path, you go down a little bit and it goes to a waterfall. And uh, the waterfall is really awesome, it's really nice. It's got a um, kind of an overlook, uh, uh, boarded area that you can walk out on to kind of overlook of the waterfall and also you can just take a trail that goes right down to the water so the kids can stick their hands in the water and, and see it up close and that kind of stuff which they really enjoyed um, it was really pretty it was a good spot another good spot for pictures and um, found out that the waterfall actually feeds off of the lake I guess they have a filtration system or something where it pulls water from the bottom of the lake and then it sends it down and kind of runs down through there which I guess is all fed through um, the the creeks and the streams that are in the area probably from springs and stuff like that because the water's super crystal clear and and uh, cold so it was really it was really nice really cool area to walk around um, and play around like uh, for the kids and everything it was very convenient very nice I know they have some other trails there like I said I know they have like 17 miles of trails in the campground itself um, so I'm not sure where all those are. Those are probably a little bit more advanced than we were able to do with uh, a bunch of young kids, but I know they have other trails there as well. And I'm pretty sure they had a trail map uh, that was available that you could pull up. Um, so if you're looking for a little bit more uh, difficult trails, they had some of that stuff there as well, mm -hmm. which would be really cool. So, overall, uh, this is the first time we've been there, obviously, but uh, we loved it. We absolutely plan to go back. Um, from us being in Northeast Florida, it was, uh, with, we pretty much only took one stop since we were just in the van, but I think it took us about, what, six and a half hours, seven hours maybe? Yeah. Something something there, so pulling the camper, going a little bit slower, making make a couple more stops would probably uh, would take a little bit longer, but not a difficult drive. And like I said, once you get close up there and to some of the mountain areas, the, um, the scenery and, and all that up there is beautiful. It's not huge as uh, some of the bigger Tennessee mountains were on vacation before, but as far as camping goes and everything, it's uh, it's a really, really pretty area. Um, we definitely plan on going back. Um, and uh, that whole area up there is just really nice. So campground itself, like we said multiple times, is really well taken care of. Um, we understand why it's one of the best voted campsites in all of Georgia. So it's uh, very nice. We definitely, definitely plan on going back. Cavender camping. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Another thing, if you venture outside of the um, campground, um, there's Hiawassee, Georgia, is maybe 30 minutes? Yeah, 25, 30 minutes away, away. maybe at the most. Yeah. Um, they got beautiful lakes there. Um, I think some waterfalls. Yeah. I saw a sign for a vineyard, so if you want some wine while you're there, go to the vineyard. We didn't go. We actually went to um, a little country store that's really cute called Creekside General Store. And um, sweet little owners, Linda, um, they had toys for the kids, they had some pajamas, they had homemade um, local jams and jellies, uh, butter, apple butter, um, some other things too. Syrup? 
syrups. Yeah. Um, so that would be a some really good place to take go old to foods, get some canned foods. Yeah. Yeah, some yeah, stuff for your pancakes really or whatever you make in the mornings or yep. toast. Um, they had some gardening, uh, like outside decorations, um, welcome signs. Um, they had soaps there, um, like handmade soaps that were nicer. Um, signs, camping things, um, like yeah. camping decor, not like camping yeah. equipment. Um, they had cabin, a lot of cabin decor, a lot of yeah. bears. Bear, bear stuff. stuff, yeah, mountain type They got stuff. beautiful, yeah. huge wind chimes that yes. sound really pretty. Yeah, yeah, mom and dad had bought one before when they were up there, and I actually bought another one mm -hmm. that mom keeps out on their porch, which are uh, really nice. Very, very high quality, very nice, and uh, will last for a really long time. And they got a good assortment of flags, so if you need a new flag for your RV site, say welcome, or like a really cute cow yeah. one, or sunflowers, yeah. they have those, and they got little metal stars, big ones and, big ones and little ones. Yeah. Um, they got jewelry and books. Um, Puzzles. Yeah. You know, all kinds of but stuff. But they have a yeah. Facebook, and they have a website, and we'll post... We'll post the link. Yeah, we can post the link down in the description, but it's just creeksidegeneralstore.com yeah. or if you just uh, look up on Facebook, Creekside General Store, we'll post it um, down below in the description maybe, but um, awesome. very nice. Yeah, it's it's owned and operated uh, by Linda, who's my mom's cousin. That's kind of how we know about it. Um, so this is the first time we've been up there and been around it, but it was a uh, really cool store. I had all kind of really cool stuff. So we'll if you're ever in that area, definitely go by, check them out. Um, tell them the cabiner sent you, she'll know exactly who you're talking about. And uh, it was really cool. So we definitely plan on visiting up there again. Yeah. And I think they also have a lot of um, waterfalls, don't they? In that area, in I that believe area. so. I think yeah. one of the highest waterfalls in Georgia is there. Uh, I don't remember that, but it yeah. sound, sounds probably right. But anyway, just yeah. do your research, check it out. There's yeah, Hiawassee, High 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 Georgia, like I said, it's close by to Vogel um, seems really cool. I've heard that they got some other cool campsites there that maybe we'll check out in the future. Yeah. And if we do, we'll do some reviews on those. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a really, really pretty area up there. So we definitely plan on going back and checking it out for sure. Yep. All right, anything else? Can't think of anything. No. I think that's it. If y'all have any questions, comments, whatever it is, uh, make sure to uh, leave it here in the comment section. If there's questions, we'll answer them. We plan on doing more videos more stuff, more homeschool stuff, whatever we can come up with. Um, so if y'all have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can check it out as soon as we post stuff. And thanks for watching our videos and we'll see you next time. Counter camping, check out.